This video is a property of MBKP International LLC. In this video, we're going to talk to you about how, install, how to install our laser engraver software. Um, this particular software that we're installing for our 3060U machine is um, we're going to be using Newly Draw. It's a software called Newly Draw, right over here. This is the software. This is the driver for the machine. First thing we're going to do is we're going to install the driver for the machine. Um, it's usually the smaller disk and normally put driver, but it may not necessarily say driver. And go ahead and put it on. Put it in there. Um, this program will open up with a, sometimes they set it, send it in a program called WinWar. You may have to download a free version of WinWar to open up this program. It's, it's just another type of zip program. Right here, in, in this case, it was a zip file. So we're going to double click on that, but it's, it's a WinWar file, so your regular zip program may not work. You just do a Google and get WinWar. And in this case, I've already downloaded it, and because I just downloaded the free version, it's telling me if I want to pay for it, and I'm just doing this with example, so I'm not going to pay for it. I'm just going to hit close. Now I can go into the actual program, and then I'm going to double click on install. And it's going to come up with this crazy Chinese writing here. Um, just a word of advice when you're installing these programs. If you get two choices, always choose the one on the left. If you get three choices, always choose the one in the middle. In this case, I'm going to choose the one on the left to install it. In this case, it's asking for you to go ahead and plug in the machine. Turn on the machine. So it's looking for it and say OK here. And after it installed all the way here, just go ahead and hit go ahead and close out completely. Now your driver is completely installed. Okay. We're gonna take the driver CD out. Put in the newly draw software CD. Now, Newly Draw actually comes with a little dongle key. This is the key to unlock it. I'll put that key in after I install it, and I'll, and I'll show you the reason why, because it's not going to let you open the software after we install it. But anyways, I, I went ahead and put the software in. Let's see if it's going to, should open up automatically here. If not, we just go in there and do it ourselves. Go here, and go to um, My Computer. Sometimes your computer will open it up automatically. I'm surprised it didn't already do it, but try it here, and in this case it's death drive. Oh, it finally opened up automatically, sorry. So, remember what I said, if you have two choices on the bottom, we're going to choose the one on the left. This, and the reason why I say that, these are just question marks here. A lot of people don't know which one to choose, but choose the one on the left. And I'll just automatically install, extract everything, install everything, the driver is it's there. It actually put the icon on the computer, it gave you a little manual here. Manual's not very good, but it does help you a little bit. But there's the software. I'm going to take the software out now because we don't need it anymore. It's already installed. I'm good there. Now I'm going to try to open it without the, the key that it comes with. And you're going to get this message right here. It just won't let you open it. Basically, all it wants you to do is just plug in the key. And you'll see where your computer finds it and tell you um, that it's ready to go. You may have already found it too here again, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to reopen it again. Now, let me reopen the newly draw software. Um, in this case, I'm just showing you a basic example, so I'm going to show you how the, the basic example. I'm going to show you how to just do uh, a text here. So I'm going to make a box text from a pen, click on it. I'm going to hold my left mouse button down, and I'm going to drag the box as big as I want to make it. So I'm going to make it right there, and I'm just going to type in test. And then I'm going to hit enter, and see where test came up up here. You can change the height and the width of it if you want. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll change it to 15, for instance. And it made it bigger. Now, in this case, it's set up for a cut mode right here. And it says right here, cut. I could change it to scan and see how it will fill in the word test. Okay, in this case, I'm just 
for this particular one, I'm going to do cut because it's quicker just, just for the demonstration purposes. So we're going to do a cut. So I'm going to go back to file. I'm going to go down to engrave. And over here, you need to make sure this is your setting over here. Most of the time when you install the software, it's going to be normally set up to 30, 40, 30, 40, 30, 60. We don't sell that machine. We sell the 30, 40, 30, 60. You, you've got to make sure you choose the right one. A lot of people have run into problems with this because they see it. Well, that's my model number. That is not your right model number. You need to make sure you choose the 3060 in this case. So we're going to select that one. Now you got the right one selected. Um, you can come over here for properties, and we can change the speed. In this case, we got the speed over here. We got the power over here. If I only want a power of 20 for cutting, usually cutting, you want higher power. You know, so you can do 70, we'll say, for instance, and you usually want lower speed. So we'll say, we'll just say 15, for instance, for the speed. And that's how you would affect that, um, the power and the speed. Okay, but also what I want to show you on the machine itself, it has to be changed on the machine. Um, you have a current resistor here that controls the power over here as well, okay? This is only when you're in manual mode. This will only work when it's in manual mode. And you have a switch for manual mode over here. It's right here, this little switch right here. If it's in manual mode, you control the power through this resistor here. If it's in automatic mode, it's being controlled through the software. It needs to be in auto mode for the software to control the power. Okay? Come back over here. Get on the software. And I'm going to hit 2XY position. Go ahead and show them the table over there. I'm hitting XY position right now. And it's moving the laser head to where it's going to start engraving. We're not actually engraving anything on this on this video. We're just showing you how it actually works. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit start engrave next, and then go back over there and show them. It actually brings up another window, and then I'm just going to hit start. This is the window it brings up over here, and I'm going to hit start now. And so it actually, if the laser was actually on, it would actually be cutting out the work test on whatever material you have right there. In this video is the property of MBTP International LLC.